Merry Fishmas to everybody <laughs> on the Fishmas special of Rod and Pollocks. I'm Mick, there he is, Tom, he's here. And have we got a treat to test out the day? And it's not sponsored, this is paid for by my partner's money. And it's nice. And it's nice. And this ladies and gentle fish. Get in front of the, the Pen Fathom 2 casting special. Um, we're going to put this through its pace of the day. We're going to compare it against the old Fathom, which Tom uses. Uh, we're going to see what a bird's nest looks like. We're definitely going to see what a bird's nest looks like. Uh, first off, though, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Son Seagoo, Bait Mate, and Sakuma. Um, yeah, we're here on. Is it Crestwood? It's the plantation of Jewish Bay. Plantation, Jewish nice Bay. Nice flat beach. We've got the window up back, so it's going to give Michael a good test of his new reel. I'm aiming for Norway. We'll be <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to pick up some flatfish as well. Yeah, the fishing is not the f is not the priority for this one. I will bleep that out. I can't bleep things now, you know. Uh, the fish is not really the priority. The priority is to get this a good test. And I want fish. We we'll want fish as well. though. fish will be a bonus. But yeah, we're down here. We haven't we've got we haven't got our usual epic amounts of bait. We've only got really worm and a few little bits of frozen stuff from the freezer. And lug. And lug. And bluey, bluey, and squid. We've got everything we normally. We've got have. everything we normally have, minus the black. And prawns. We've got, we've got more than normal. Oh, you got prawns. Uh, we'll bring them. And we've got prawns. Uh, we've got my sea goo. Uh, I think I've only brought ragworm. Ragworm, mackerel and squid sea goos. Uh, my lovely new sea goo towels which you'll see in a bit. But yeah, we're going to get cracking on. I'm going to get one line out with a bait on straight away. And we're going to stick a sinker on this and me and Tom are going to... It's going to Norway! It's going to Norway. We are going to catch a Norwegian halibut with this. Ladies and gentlemen, fish, this is uh, Tom chucking my fathom to. We'll see how it goes. I don't know which way the mag is. Yeah, well, we haven't quite figured out where mag on and mag off is, so it's all guesswork. I'm not doing any proper casting, I'm just going to flick it. Silent. Is your verdict so far? So, sorry, funny lean was to tilt the camera. Looks like I haven't lined it very well. Um, somehow it's managed to loop under itself. That's what tamed the last couple of chucks down with it. Now, I've had one go so far and it, it flies. Unfortunately, me 525 had a bit more damage than I thought it did. Uh, I tried replacing the handle, uh, chucked it out there. It blew up straight away. It was making a horrible noise. So that's going to go in for a service. So I put a fixed spool on, and this is how much. Probably, Tom. This is how much I can't use a fixed spool. And me cast for the fixed spool, I'd wrap the line around the top of my rod, and I snapped the top of my rod. So I'm down a rod. I have got a bag up rod in the house here, so that's all right. But yeah, so far on the Fathom 2, I'm now going to bait it up and actually fish with it. As a casting reel, phenomenal. Uh, now I'm going to try it as a fishing reel. I'm sure Tom will talk a bit about it. Here's Michael's go with the new Fathom. It's kind of Norway. No nest, which is good. Smooth on it, there's not much noise. The mag we found in slightly the wrong place when you're reeling back in the mag knob itself digs into your wrist which isn't ideal 
casting motion of it was very, very smooth. The retrieve's lovely. Retrieve's quick, 6 one, one. It's similar to the old fathom. Point one of it turned more by every turn of the handle of the retrieve. The only downside is that mark. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to put a rig on it and he's going to nest and crack off and then have to tie a new one. Well, with it being Christmas, I suppose we should really do some Christmas shout outs, shouldn't we? So, uh, I am just going to put them sporadically through this episode, little shout outs to people. So, my first Christmas shout out is going to be to Phil and Meg at Seagoo. Thank you very much for taking one, sponsoring with, and uh, giving with damn good laugh in the uh, group chat. Merry Christmas from Rod and Pollux. Hope you have a lovely day. Look, I'm wearing odd gloves. Yeah. Merry Christmas uh, to all our viewers out there. Go and check out Seagoo. They make a cra a cra a cra they make a fantastic product. Um, yeah, give them a check out. Great for my second Christmas shout out. Yeah, I'm doing three. Tom's doing three. For my second Christmas shout out. It's got to be conversation shed where we started so Merry Christmas to Russ and Mally I uh, hope you have a wonderful day uh, from me and Tom Tom's busy with his fishing gear over there um, yep Merry Christmas we'll leave a link in the description to the conversation shed uh, go and check them out tell them we sent we which is what they would have said but yeah go and give them a check out drop them a subscribe if you can yep Merry Christmas to the shed Right, my third Christmas shout out is going to be to the Eastbourne Angler. Uh, Jason, Eastbourne Angler. He's been helping us out a lot. We've been trying to help him out as much as we can. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, go and give him a check. Go and give him a subscribe. Uh, tell him we sent you. <laughs> I have to get that one in just for us. But yeah, go and check out the Eastbourne Angler. Cracking channel. Does some brilliant gear reviews. Uh, also part of Team Seagoo. So yeah. Making us that we'll adjust the camera there and bring it down about five foot to my height. Uh, I'm going to do some Christmas shout outs. I would like to say a big thank you to Bait Mate Fishing Solutions, who we've recently started working with. You've seen we use the tools, absolutely fantastic, and he's been supporting the channel a lot. I would like to give a big shout out to Fishing Tom. If you haven't already seen his channel, go and give it a go. He's just a young lad from Wales, but he's bang on the fish all the time. Good crack, very informative. And of course, Sports and Leisure in Blythe, where we'll get our bait from and we have done for years. I've been using that and the sister shop, which is McDermott's in Asherton, since my dad took us fishing when I was seven. And they're always there to accommodate you. They'll give you any tips on rigs and bait and marks and anything you could ask for. Banging prices as well. So thank you very much, each and every one of you. We really appreciate the support. And for a final Christmas shout out, look at him trying to get it off my face there. For a final Christmas shout out, it's all you lot. All our subscribers. Each and every one of you. Merry Christmas to you all, hope you have a lovely day and thank you for the support and I'm kneeling in a puddle. Thank you for watching two ginger idiots who really struggle to fish week in week out. Yeah, we're not really a fishing show are we? Nah. We're just a fooling about show. I mean we do catch. Every episode. We don't blank. We don't blank until now. Until today. Yeah, I just break things. Michael snap the rod. I test things to destruction. But yeah, 
he, he went to cast out and I think the line's wrapped around the end of his rod and it's ripped the end three eyes off, which is not good. That's my first fixed spool cast in like seven years. And that's why we hate them. That's why we hate them. Don't that's use fixed spools, folks. They are poo. But yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, let's crack on with this review and hopefully bag, bag some fish, eh? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Mick's got the first fish of the day and he's christened the fathom and it's a nice flounder. That's a lovely flounder. I don't get it weird actually. Say about a pound and a half. About a pound. It's yours. I'm going to eat him. Get, we'll get it weird, eh? We'll get him dispatched, yeah. So that's me, I had the first fish. Believe it or not, I don't know how that happened eh? I just reeled in to rebait and gone back out and my rod was pretty heavy. Uh, came in about one, there was one pound two ounce, so I was miles off with one and a half pound. Um, but that's Tom's breakfast, he can eat that one, I'll get the bigger one. That's what he's after. We've come to this beach because it is an absolute hot spot for flatties uh, all year round and kind of shows it really, doesn't it? First fish is a nice big flatty. We'll see if we can get a few more fires there. Eh? Oh, by the way, while I'm on, as a fishing reel, the fathom is amazing as well. Uh, obviously pulling through the sand and with oh, that window's going to take my rod stand on with that fish on obviously put a hell of a bend in my rod but with a power handle on the fathom you felt like you can just really bully it in um, no problem whatsoever whereas me me five me five, no five I would have to pump work the rod a little bit 36 and a half centimetres 36 and a half centimetres measured um, but yeah with that with the fathom and the power handle it was just crank it came flying in so as a casting reel absolutely fantastic as a fishing reel absolutely fantastic uh, would I pay 195 pound for it well yes I did so yeah I could strongly recommend them to people if everyone's a multi-purpose reel that can cast a hell of a distance smooth as out I've had no flare-ups no real issues with it yet and can half bully a fish in the Fathom 2 casting special is your reel so ladies and gentle fish that's Tom's first fish of the day nice little flounder lug tip of squid lug tip of squid I don't know if you have to some squid try and keep it out the wind a little bit nice little clean fish yep now look we can actually film you putting it back because this will be easy this time And it's gone. Well done, mate. I shall put my hands on my. Solent is that your towel? lovely Solent Seagoo? Or should we say it properly? Solent Seagoo towel? Yes! Woo! Solent Seagoo towels. Thank you, Phil and Meg. Yeah. Thank you, Phil and Meg. You are the best. It's fish number two for you there, ladies and gentlemen. Fish. Another flounder. Another keeper for Tom. Another nice big one. You're getting the little ones, I'm getting the big ones today. And I'm eating them. Uh, Lug squid and lugworm seagull. So, to answer your question, seagull works. Well, so that's fish number two for me. And I must say, for an episode where we weren't really that bothered about the fish, we're more bothered about trying the reel out. We've got a few fish so far, it's three between we. We've only been here a couple of hours, if that. Um, everything taken on worm with squid tips. Uh, we're using lugworm seagoo injected. I'm taking out the worm, then I'm injecting it full before I'm putting it on the hook, so that I'm it's essentially inflating my worms. Uh, but it seems to be working. And that's two decent flounders that I've had. Uh, see that one that I've just had. Just shy of a pound, it's not worth weighing, but I'd probably good hooked it. Uh, it's legal size, so Tom's gonna keep it. Um, let's see if I can get something a little bit bigger again, eh? Yeah. That's just what rig I'm using, mate. Tom, what rig are you using today? A widow maker. A what a widow maker? Basically, it is a two-hook flapper or a two-hook pattern or whatever you want to call it. Three-way swivels. You can use loops and tie your snuds onto loops. We adopted the name Widowmaker because whenever we use it, we just catch anything. It's a good scratching rig. I like to use the treble swivels because it gives the, the rig space to move around and not tangle up as much. 
got size two hooks on. I've got one bit in the other bottom and one bit slightly further up, but obviously when it's out there, they're both from the bottom anyway. It doesn't clip down, so power cast with it because it's not as even in the air. If you're using a multiplier anyway, on a fixed board you can do what you want. How's it working for you today though, Tom? Well, I've only had one fish so far, Michael, but it was on the Widowmaker. Oh, was it on the Widowmaker, yeah, was it? The pulley's doing nothing what, what, What's this other rigger you're using, Tom? That is something I've never used before, called a panel pulley. A panel pulley? Yes. Is that like a pulley panel but backwards? Exactly. Alright. I need to put my circle hook in, because I haven't done it. How's that rig working out for you today, Tom? Poo! Ha! Ah. I'm recording you. What are you about to do now, Tom? An overhand log. Are you going to bend it to send it? I don't know if we've got the splash leg. Hell of a cast, though. <laughs> Not bad for overhand. So whilst we're on, or do you want to do your segment on the Fathom 2 behind you? Oh, it's easier. Either or. So what do you think, comparing this to the normal Fathom 15? Casting feels exactly the same. I'm operating two brake blocks in each reel now. Michael sounds a bit smoother because obviously there's no brake blocks to kick in, it's just got the back brake. Retrieve feels pretty much the same. For every one turn of this handle, I get six revolutions of the spool. For Michael's, he gets 6.1, so it's very, very similar. Build quality is exactly the same, very good. I like it in black, it looks stealthy. It does look stealthy, but doesn't it? For my personal use, I don't need a mag, I don't use a mag, so I would have no reason to buy it. Yeah. I like how silent it is when it casts, but distance wise, we're pretty much hitting the same. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with you. I do say I like the black and gold on these ones, and I like that they're 50 pound cheaper. <laughs> Fifty pound cheaper is nice. Fifty pound cheaper is a lot nicer, but I've got a fathom two and you don't, so I'm going to do the special. I've got a fathom two and you don't dance. <laughs> don't spend your money on a fathom two. Go for a fifteen. That better. Rod and Pollux endorses that product. So when you're in the top of the tide now and it's all quieting off a little bit, so. Uh, to try and change some things up. Tom switched from a grip lead to a bomb. The idea is that it'll roll around in the sand a bit, kick the sand up. That can normally drag in a few flatties. Um, Fathom's still doing amazing, I must say. Uh, just still, I'm, I'm trying to find the perfect setting for it. Like the perfect amount of mag and centrifuge and all of that. And Tell you what, it's, it's going to take us a few trips to get used to it, I think. But it's already... A, Increased my distance a hell of a lot. Um, the 525 two, five that I've been using, I think that might have a little bit more damage on the inside than I thought it was. So that, that blew up straight away, and before it even, as soon as it picked up the lead and the cast, that have just exploded on us. Um, so I'm going to get that stripped down in the house and see what it damages in there. I might even just go and send it to John at Sport Ledger and get him to give it a good service. Uh, my rod's knackered completely, tip's gone, but I have got a backup rod in the house. I say it's a backup rod, it's a rod I didn't want to use because I didn't know what we are going to be doing with it. But now I'm going to start using it from next trip. But yeah, it's been a weirdly fun day. Like, I think this is my second or third day session we've had in a row. I'm starting to like day, I like day fishing more than night fishing. But I'll leave this little update as that, it's getting on a little bit. Uh, I am trying to cram for footage because it's never was going to be a great day. But yeah, I'll catch up with you again in a minute. You got the camera? Yeah, it's recording. So ladies and gentle fish, there's another one for Tom. Um, and it's a, it's a magic one as well. Double sided. Double sided. Lovely actually. That's the second double sided one I've caught in three trips. Ah, no. But it shows, goes to show what I was saying before, if you switch to a bomb, that little bit extra move into the water can bring them in because that one was it was on the bomb wasn't it yeah I, um, I had nothing and i moved it about two meters and then about 30 seconds later i got a knock so there we go another fish uh, but that's about the same size as the one that mick had but it wasn't good too so i'm going to try and get him put back yeah he's done it again he's got one more than me now three two there it is look it's barely a fish it's a postage stamp 
Michael's first one was bigger, I'll give him that. And my second one was bigger. No, your second one was the same size as my other one. Yeah, it's there. It was but, good 2-2, okay. Yeah. But anyway, that's not really a fish, doesn't count. 3-2. Doesn't count. 3-2. Doesn't count. 3-2. Doesn't count. Three, two. Merry Christmas. Yet again, getting completely and utterly outfished by Tom. Again. I don't know why I can't fish with him, to tell you the truth. He's done it again. Nobody likes him. <laughs> That's a very nice bike. 4 2. Well done, Tom. Well done. Thank you. There it is. Another flounder again. Not a bad one. Yeah, not too bad. There's his face. Look at that. Smug shit on his. Hey! <laughs> Tommy D, Woo! the king of the flat, he's only gone and got another dab. I sang a little song for you there, mate. Did you like it? Four flounders, one dab, did you? Well done. I'm proud of you. Woo! You make an old man proud oh, at man. Christmas. Last cast, nice flounder, one pound, two ounce. The same as Michael's big one, so it's a tie for heaviest fish. And I got five and he got two. I'm gonna put this one back though. You gotta kiss it. Good luck, Charm. Christmas kiss. Bloody hell, he did it. Look <laughs> at that face again, man. <laughs> right, we're done. Uh, that was a fun day. It was good. Um, Fathom 2, love it. Flatly bashing, love it. Fathom 2, love it, yes. Would I buy it above a normal Fathom 15? No. I don't think I would neither. I've never tried your Fathom yet. Right. I'm more comfortable with it because I like the mag break, that little bit extra control. But it did everything your fathom did, didn't it? So yeah. it's got the same guts reeling it in. Just cut us out the bullshot. Sorry. Oh yeah. Got the same guts reeling in, same sort of distances going out. But yeah, it's a nice reel. We had a good day. I beat Michael 6 2. And on his last fish, we had exactly the same as my biggest his fish. First, so. The first fish that Michael brought in was a pound two flounder, which was a good flounder for you. So Michael was convinced he was winning biggest fish all day. And then we go to pack up, I, re I reel me rod in to pack it down. And I've got a one pound, two ounce flounder on the end of it. Typical. So I got well and truly outfished again. But yeah, I think we're just going to cut off there. I've done the last half of this episode with a stotting migraine. It's been horrendous. So thank you to all our sponsors, Sigu, Baitmate, Sakuma. Uh, thank you to all you lot. Um, Thank you to the whole Segu team. The whole Segu team, the whole of Team Segu, yeah. All the lads involved, they all help each other out and it's nice. It's a yeah. good, good community to have. Um, so yeah, we're going to cut that off there. Uh, this is the last episode of 2019. We're not going to see us now till 2020. I know that seems so long away. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. Tight lines, folks. And may the fish be with you. <laughs>